African Go TV. Okay, it's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. I've I've been so busy. So I have a lady here with me. Her name is Naomi. So there uh, there was a day I was uh, we were going back home. So we met her on the road and uh, she was begging us money. She wants to get some medicine. So we asked her what is her problem. So she narrated the whole story. So, so my husband felt bad so he has no other choice than to be providing medication for her for the meantime until solution will come so that is why we are putting all this thing on internet for us to see if there is anybody that can help or have any solution to this lady's problem so i am going to hand over the mic to her and then tell us what she is passing through from the story of her life so Naomi, please can you tell us what question happened to me when I was nine years old? So when I was going to school, okay, I have an accident. Okay, so when they rushed me to the hospital, the doctor finished checking me. At that time, they finished checking me. See that I'm having a bruise. The school, when I'm in the school like this, I used to fall. They will call my mom on my phone and be telling her that I fall down. So, so wait, sorry. When the when you were falling, then did the school knows that you have that sickness? Yes. Okay. They know they, that I have that kind of sickness. Okay. And when I fall like this, they will be running away from me. They will be calling me all sort of names. So they called my mommy on phone the first day and told her that I fall down. She don't understand what they are they saying. So one day she was in the kitchen. She was in the kitchen. She was sharing food. So she don't know. She saw how I fell down. The thing started me doing me somehow. Yes. She now came and noticed that this thing that is happening to me. She was not happy. She called all her sisters on the phone and told them that I fell down. They took me to the hospital. She said that she don't have any time. She called all her sisters and told them. They said that it's only when they have money. If they pay them, yes, she can do all those things. Since that time till now, they have not yet treated. The thing is still disturbing me. And I'm looking for how I will get money so that they can be buying drugs for me. That is it. So how, okay. After that, I you told me that you have a son. I have a child. So how did the child come about? Is it before the sickness or after the sickness? Child, your own baby, that baby that you have, how comes? How did you get the pregnant? Where did you even? How did it happen? It was in any room that this thing happened. Okay. When I went out to buy something, I don't know that somebody was behind this thing. Did. Was it in the night or in the morning? In the evening time. Okay. I was just going out to buy something. I don't know that somebody was following me. It's when the man left me. I was just going. It's when I left the man. I did not see the man again. I don't know where the man came out from. I came and used the drug on me. I slept there. By waking up, I saw myself in his house. I don't know that the man had used me. That's what I wanted to explain to my mom. She said that I'm just following you. So that is it. So um, so guys, uh, the story is long. Yes, the story is long because the story that she gave me is yeah the same thing with what she just said now. And uh, because she caught some of the story how she the pregnant came about because the thing like the thing affected her brain. So 
you know there are some things that she used to forget so please guys if you have any solution to this lady's problem and there's something that she said that you said that uh, is in your back at your back the thing looks like a long rope that is at my back okay so yeah, how does the thing is it when the epilepsy starts you feel it or like if the team join together oh. it's when the team can throw me down on the ground okay and i'm not happy because of that this thing it's because of it that's why i just stopped school okay. and it's because of that time that's why i stopped school okay. i'm just looking for how i will treat it so that i can start going to school some of my mates they are already in secondary school they are in university but i'm still in university. so guys please if you have anything that you want to do for her please just send me a dm just send me a dm and i am ready to reply you guys please please because she's a sister and also someone's child okay so imagine maybe you are in her shoe i know right now she's not feeling she's not even happy so please if you have anything that you want to assist her with no amount is small you understand even if it is 10 naira please forward it for her so that she can be able to use it to buy her medication please and do well to share this video so that other people can see it and also uh, sympathize with her so guys please i will be waiting for your response on the comment section do well to like share and also drop your comment thank you guys see you guys in my next video